If you ever wondered how to do these organic looking 3D mesh animations, this is exactly what I'm going to show you. We're going to use Blender and Embergen. Let's get right into it. Then you have Embergen open. Hopefully this is what's going to greet you. Let's go to presets. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Dry Eye Smoke 2, but you can choose whichever preset you want. Let's open this up. You can stop the simulation with space and start it with space as well. Or you can reset it with R. Let's reset it for now. For this video, I'm going to turn off the noise so we have a cleaner smoke simulation. You can see Embergen is node-based. So if you're familiar with node-based systems, this is going to be easy for you to get into. If you're not, then it's fine. It's really not that complicated. So for Blender to be able to use the smoke simulation, we're going to have to export it out as a VDB. You will see this node here, which has a VDB uh, output. You just basically gra drag that out, which will create this export VDB node automatically. Then click that one. Select the directory where you want to export the VDB out. Doesn't matter where, just make sure you know where it is. At this point, you can run the simulation. So press space and see how many frames you want to render out. You can see this is real time and super fast and clean. This is Embergen for you. Uh, so I decided I want to have 120 frames. In the export settings, just put in to the number of frames, which whichever, whatever you want for me, it's 120. For the export attributes, you can turn off flames because we don't have flames here. So just use density. Everything else is good on default. And then just hit export. Exporting goes super fast as well. I don't even have to fast forward the video. So once done, we can jump over to Blender. So let's do that. Once in Blender, let's import the VDB. Shift A, Volume, and Import VDB. Make sure you select all the VDB exports that are in the folder you exported out to. So once we have that ready, we're going to add a cube. Just a simple cube. I find it, you can use other shapes here. But I find it it works best with the cube, it gives you be better controls. I don't know why. Uh, in order to turn this smoke uh, VDB into mesh, you're gonna have to have the cube selected and then go to modifiers and add a volume to mesh. And then for the object, you have to select the VDB file that you just imported into Blender. So once you have that ready, and then you run the animation, you can see that the cube turns into this mesh that's uh, dri driven by the smoke simulation. Now it's a bit too big, so you have to select the VDB in order to change the size of the mesh, not the, not the cube, the VDB. So let's make it smaller just to fit our scene a bit more. Just like this. Once you have the right size you want for the for your render, make sure you turn this off the VDB. Because if you don't have it turned off, it can make your render super slow or even your viewport super slow. So just have it turned off, have, have only the cube turned on. So once we have this, you can see that it's kind of, it's not smooth. So turn on smooth shading, which is better. We know that the smoke simulation is 120 frames, so we only need 120 frames. You can see it looks already pretty cool. But I don't like it how uh, there are some little pieces of the simulation that creates a mesh just separated from the rest of the mesh. Also, you can see that these are not really super high resolution. 
so it looks cool from afar but if you want to have uh, if you want to do some close-ups it's gonna look janky so let's fix that you're gonna have to add a couple of things here in the modifier tab in order to fix it first let's add the solidify this is gonna give you control to extend the mesh a bit and then just uh, make make uh, the separate pieces touch other pieces so you will see we're gonna add the remesh modifier as well and when you remesh this it could, it's gonna look like it's a whole mesh not like a separate mesh but yeah you don't want to go overboard with this one just uh, add a bit just a bit of it when it's uh, maybe even a bit less something like this so you can see the difference so after the solidify we're gonna need to add a remesh the voxel size is gonna be the resolution I'm gonna use 0 0.01 which for me is I think it's gonna be enough you can go smaller uh, but just know if you the smaller you go the the more laggy will be the your viewport because this is basically the resolution of the mesh that is generated then turn on smooth shading as well you can see it already looks uh, better it's like whole whole mesh it's also pretty subjective so you might like this one more it's really up to you so after this remesh we're gonna, I'm just going to apply another modifier which is smooth just to smooth the surface a bit because you can see that there's like there are some artifacts here and there and uh, let's just smooth it out a bit gonna put the factor to one and then repeat it like 10 times maybe maybe that's a bit too much five Yeah, this seems good enough so let's run the animation and see how it looks now just know that this remesh modifier is gonna make your viewport a bit slower so if you want to have your view, view or your viewport more responsive you need to turn this off it's gonna make make the smoke uh, the, the mesh look a bit different but yeah you can turn on and off this one as you wish so yeah I think that's it you have this uh, smoke to mesh from Embergen to Blender and then you can just you know set up different camera angles focus on different parts of the animation select the different preset and yeah, this is basically a five minute workflow to create this super fast and yeah, super easy. Have fun, everybody.